Good morning. Today starts our day in the life of Stasi the zoo. So we just woke up and it is about 5:20 in the morning and this is Stasi's playpen and she is all covered up because um, as more <laughs> she hears me so she's uh she is going to, to jump around. But um, I find that covering her up, she stays very, very quiet at night in here. So I am going to uncover her and I'll see if I can do this with one hand. Stassi, good morning. Good morning, little jumping bean. Good morning. All right, you ready to get out? Huh? Oh, goodness. Come on. Come on. And every morning we get greeted like this. Huh? Every morning. Yeah, Mama just put that right there for a minute. All right. So she ran off to go and potty, and now she's in the kitchen. She heard me scoop out her raw food and you can see i have it here on the counter and it is going to get thawed out a little bit before she can get it so we are going to now go into my bathroom where i start getting ready while this thaws out here we are in my bathroom and i am getting ready and she is playing with her chicken so of course, she stopped squeaking it as soon as I put the camera on. She was sitting there and just squeaking it over and over and over again. But now you stopped. Breakfast time. So our food has sat out for about, oh, about 15 minutes. And I just put it down and she is going to eat her breakfast while I put my makeup on and so we do this every single morning and this is what I will be doing <laughs> I have a little bit of a makeup obsession love makeup while this little one eats her breakfast so she is not banded this morning. I didn't put the bands on her mustache last night, as you can see. So we will see how messy she gets. Um, but I do her morning routine after I get my own self ready. So she's gonna get a face wash anyway. So as long as she doesn't start eating her hair, we will be good. Um, so as her hair gets longer, I may have to change up how I, you know, put her hair or pull her hair back. She may have to start getting used to wearing a snood, uh, which I may actually order one for her. And that way um, she will get used to it because I am worried about when her ears get longer, you know, they may get in the food or they may not because Harper's ears do not get in the way but hers might as you can see her face is a little bit well it's a you know a good bit smaller than harper's so harper's ears kind of fall to the side um of the bowls and her ears are kind of in it so we'll see but you know what the great thing about these little bites is they're almost still frozen so they're not really messy so i'm probably just going to wait it out and see if it becomes a problem i'll find the solution so mommy has finished getting ready and stassi has had her breakfast so now it's time to do our morning daily routine which you can catch on our channel here um, i did do a video about this a while back So I start out by cleaning her face. And 
I'm happy to say that up close I can see that no food got in her mustache. So that is awesome. I'd rather not band her. I mean, I did do it a couple of times, but she was still getting wet. She's going through a teething phase right now. So her face has been getting wet a lot. So yesterday, actually, I had to clean and dry her face and powder her face like five times. So the banding, you know, wasn't really preventing anything from getting staying dry. So I just took the bands out and that way I could get to her face. And I spoke with her breeder and her breeder said that this is just a phase, um, that it's her age because it, it wasn't happening before, but all of a sudden she started getting really wet like her her face just keeps getting wet so i think she must be going through a, a teething phase because that um was is has been quite challenging for me to be able to keep her face nice and dry and that's what you want to do to be able to prevent the tear staining or the staining on the face because she is up on this table all the time. So I think that's the main goal or the main uh, trick to getting the new kit is just to keep doing it. I know a lot of you have asked, you know, how do you get her so good? I just started doing this when she first got to me. And, you know, sometimes she'll get a little feisty and she'll sit up and I have to put her back down. So, you know, she... She is her own little person. So sometimes she gets in the mood, but for the most part, she is excellent. <clears throat> this takes a little bit longer because I'm using just cool air. So you don't really want to put heat. Heat is very drying and also they don't like it. So you want to make sure that you are using cool air only if you are going to be blow drying the face. So this is almost like a get ready with me video. So we, we are getting ready for the day. She comes with me every day to my photography studio. So this is just our normal routine every morning. And then you will probably see her face get very wet during the day today because we are going to kind of take you along our typical day and I have to do this at my studio as well. So she's worked this little one, but she's worth it because she's so pretty. She's so pretty. see what bow we're going to wear today. So 
So we're just going to do her top knot. And I know that you guys really can't see on this angle. I have my camera just kind of sitting next to us. So I know that it's hard angle to see, but this is not really a grooming video. This is mainly a day in the life of Stassi the zoo. <laughs> And exactly what, um, you know, what we do on a daily basis. So I know that I always like seeing videos like that. So I figured that some of you might like to see it too. You're slipping, Mama. Straighten up. If she's not real straight, she slips, so. powdering process. Her coat has been really easy to maintain. We have not run across any kind of matting issues, um, but I'm sure as her hair continues to grow, that will change, but right now I am enjoying the fact that it doesn't take me long to brush her out because basically she has not been matting. So I don't know if it's just that she has a great coat that won't do that, but I doubt it. I, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm anticipating some knotting to go on. Hopefully we won't get too much, but like right now, it's just very, very easy. All right, so the next thing that I'm going to do is to put her harness on, uh, or take her picture actually, and then put her harness on, um, and then we will be on our way. She doesn't like to walk on the leash, but we at least try in the mornings. But winds up, what winds up happening is I pick her up. <laughs> because I don't have time for this. So this is my little grandson, Landon. And we are getting ready to go to school, and I am going to buckle her in her snoozer. I drop Landon off at school in the mornings for his daddy, and drop my son off at high school, and we are going to be on our way. So we are on our way to the studio, or actually we're on our way to drop the kids off at school first, and then uh, from there, stop and get coffee and then we go to the studio. The studio is about 15 minutes from my house but it takes me about 25 minutes to do all of what I just said before we actually get there. So Stassi is riding in her car seat, in her snoozer car seat, whoops, <laughs> um, in the back. So has a nice comfortable ride and hopefully she's being a good girl back there. So here we are at my favorite coffee house getting my coffee for the morning. What I do is I have a um, 
I get two shots of espresso and then I put a protein drink inside that and I have it over ice. So I eat that every morning or drink it every morning. And little Miss Stassi, let's check in and see what she's doing. Hey, my girl. So she is just <laughs> snoozing away in her snoozer pet seat while we get some coffee. We are here at the studio and I am going to be getting her out. We're here! We're here, Stassi! Sorry if this is all jumpy. Come on, you want to get a treat? Come on. <laughs> and this is what she does. She just freezes. Here we go. I'm going to be getting her trainer back out to get her walking on this leash better. I know that she's just being a little diva and she just wants me to pick her up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Stassi. Come on, you want to go get a treat? Come on. And I don't know why this camera is very yellow right now. So sorry about the lighting. The lighting is not going to be very good probably for all the time I am in here because it's just not, not that good for some reason. So here we are in the office. Going to get a drink of water. She's taking a potty break. Good girl. Come on, you want a treat? You want a treat? Do you want a treat? What do you want this morning, huh? What kind of treat do you want this morning? So we are going to give her a little treat. <laughs> she knows that she is about to get something yummy. So usually in the morning I'll give her a couple of treats. And then usually again like in the afternoon. What? You want a treat? You want a treat? Okay. She's playing with the little toys. As you can see, my office floor is pretty clean, although she's already taken a couple of toys out this morning. But usually it is filled with toys by at least midday. And then I have to keep picking them up in between clients. So she will take all of her toys out of her toy box one by one and play with everything, which I love. Her and Harper are my two toy players. They love, love, love their toys. So that's why I love buying toys for them because it gives me so much joy to see them enjoying their toys so much. And as you see, um, you know, we, we start out the day all beautiful and pretty. And that's when I take her pictures um, right after I do her, her morning routine. Because then we get messier and messier as the day goes on. 
And you're gonna see her be her normal self today. As you can see, she is digging for a toy. Let's see, what are you looking for? It cracks me up how she will just get in there and it's like, look, she's like trying to find that specific toy that she is looking for. Isn't that so funny? Oh, you were trying to find your antler. You felt like chewing? Huh? You felt like chewing an antler? So funny. to dry it up so that it stays as stain free as possible. So here we are, kind of at the end of our studio day. We're almost finished. And Stassi is just playing. Are you playing with your toys? Huh? Where's your toys? Huh? Her face actually did really good today. We only had to dry her off once during the middle of the day, but she's doing actually pretty good. Everybody. And in between clients, we like to play. <laughs> okay, here we are. We just left the studio and I'm waiting um, to get some food to bring home. And we will be home soon. And I know Harper and Ch Chi Chi and Paris are going to be excited to see Stassi. They usually play like crazy nuts, her and Harper anyway, uh, when I get home, so. We'll be home soon. Goodness, look at that face. You're a mess now. Here we go, Chi Chi. Oh, girl. Hey, Chi Chi. Hey, Mama. What you doing? What's Chi Chi doing, huh? What is Chi Chi doing? Hey, my baby. No Harper. Are you gonna play? <laughs> oh my goodness, you are a brat. Here, Harper.
You can't get any toy because your bratty sister won't let you, huh? Huh. Oh, she's crazy this today. She's crazy. Hey, Barbara. Oh, <laughs> there you go, Harper. <gasps> Harper comes back to mommy and says, "Mommy, she's not fair. She's not fair. She doesn't play fair. She doesn't play fair." Oh, <gasps> here we go, Harper. Go get it. Go get it. Gotta get it by yourself, huh? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Come here, crazy. Come here. Come here. Good girl. I'm holding Stassi back so that Harper gets to play with her toys because she's a wild woman. At nighttime is her very hyperactive time. She is so hyper at night. Why? Did you go get your toy? Go get your toy. You better go get it before I let her go. Go get your toy. Go get You tuckered out from all your play? So now I'm getting ready to take my bath and I'm going to feed Chi Chi and Paris and Stassi usually comes in here with me so that she doesn't terrorize Harper the whole time. So Harper is behind the gate here kind of whining to come in but I'm gonna give her a little break because they just had a, a heavy duty play session. Huh. Hey, I'm just a rambunctious puppy. Huh, she's all out of breath because she's been playing so hard. <laughs> I think she's gonna take a little rest. So after that rigorous play session, it is now time to go to bed. So I am going to get her ready for bed. <laughs> and as you can see, she is all worn out. Harper is drinking water. So if you hear the water bottle, that is Harper over there drinking and drinking because her and Stassi just played and played. So, take her bow out. <clears throat> and I don't really do anything to this top knot at night usually, but tonight I'm gonna brush her teeth. This is water, so I have a trash can here at the bottom, so I'm gonna spray this with water. You wanna get your teeth brushed? You wanna get your teeth brushed? I will do a video on this but I do use the CET Vanilla Mint and she likes it. Wait a minute. And it's best to do this before you clean the face because it does get a little messy.
But as you can see, I don't know if you can see, but she is liking her toothpaste. They love the way this tastes. And it's an enzymatic toothpaste, so it's supposed to work against the tartar by breaking down the tartar with the enzymes. Let's see. Let's see, are you pretty? Oh, are you pretty? We'll get some more. I just kind of go around her mouth with the toothbrush. All right. And because I don't have a water source here at the table, I just keep this bottle, spray bottle of water. To wash my toothbrush. I'm going to use the Clarity No Rinse Stain Remover to kind of wash her face. And I really like this. It smells really good. So at the end of the night when she's really messy, as you can see, she is a mess. Okay, are you going to lay? Huh? And she's all hyped up. She's all excited. So basically, I kind of do the same thing as I do in the morning, except I don't do quite as much. Just wipe her face and wipe her eyes and make sure that's all clean. Really panting. That was really rough, huh? All that playing. All that playing. Still panting? My goodness. <laughs> she got a little water before we got up here, but I guess she probably wants some more. So we're gonna hurry up with her so that she can get down and get some more water. I guess that's what she wants. So, as you can see, if you have watched this whole video, this is the third time that she has gotten her face done. And I realize that not everyone is going to want to groom their dog as much as <laughs> what I groom Stassi. But when you keep, when you are keeping a dog in long coat and you make that commitment like I have, um, it really is a commitment and it's a lot of work. And I know that it's not for everyone because you know, not everyone, you know, has the time to do this. And even myself, I'm very, very busy. As you can see, it is um, 8.30 now. And, you know, I just got home from work not that long ago. And, you know, once we ate and I took my bath and played with the dogs. And it's, you know, it's time almost to go to bed and we are grooming again. So it does take a lot of commitment, but it's one that I have committed to because I absolutely love Shizu's in long coat. But you know, everyone that sees her in person always comments how beautiful her coat is and how, you know, how pretty she is all along. But I'm the first one to say, you know, she's a lot of work. So She's definitely a lot of work, but she is worth it. Aww. So this is basically what we do at night. I just clean her face again. I dry it. I put the drying powder. I brush her teeth. Um, I am trying to do her teeth every night, although some nights you know, I don't get to it and I really want to make a concerted effort to get to it every night. It doesn't take long at all. So most nights we do brush her teeth. Um, but I'm not going to say that I'm 100% every single night, but most nights we do. And then I just pass the brush through her coat 
just real quickly again. Like I was saying this morning, she her coat is not quite in her adult coat, so she is seven months old, so she still has her puppy coat. I think it's starting to transition into that long coat. Oh my goodness, you are so out of breath. What is the matter? Huh? What's the matter? Why are you so out of breath? Yes, mommy loves you. Mommy loves you. I do love you. Yes. Okay. All right, I'm going to let you down. Let's see. Let's get your underneath. Okay. All right, let's get your back. Let's get your hiney. Let's get your hiney. Everyone gets a view of your hiney. Just a minute, just a minute. And then we give her a little spritz of her perfume because every girl likes to go to bed smelling nice. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. All right, so we are going to go snuggle and watch a little bit of TV and then we are going to put her to bed and she goes to sleep right in the Rover uh, playpen just like you saw me take her out of this morning so we'll be going to bed soon and that is it as life as Stassi the zoo it's not that exciting these days um, but she is a good little girl and she comes with me and I love it I love taking her with me every day and I love grooming her and so we do lots of that and we do some playing in between sit baby girl sit baby girl and that's it. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and taking a little bit of a peek into our day. And I'm glad you guys got to see Harper. I know a lot of people um, have been asking, can you sit? Can you sit? Stassi. Good girl. A lot of people have been asking to see Harper, so I'm glad she got to come on camera a little bit. And like always, we appreciate any comments and likes that you can give our video. So please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Say goodnight, Stassi. Say night, everybody. And thank you for watching. All right, good night, Stassi.